a natural disaster, maybe it's a hurricane, we've all kind of lived through that over the last couple of weeks, whether they're hurricanes or tornadoes or just a power outage, or maybe you just need power at in the palm of your hand, we've got a way for you to not have to worry about, oh, the lights went out, now what do we do? And it's all courtesy and thanks to EcoFlow, the Tech Rev, uh, River Mobile Power Station. This is about the size of a toaster, you can pick it up and carry it along with you. It's our showstopper, so it's a product that we've offered in the past. You've already loved it. We've got a great value because you're going to get, in the color of your choice, your own power station. This is gold. This is silver. We've got it in black. We've got it in rose gold. You're also going to get the protective case. You get all the cords and cables that you need, and this is is gonna allow you to say, oh, the lights went out, that's okay, I have my own power. And Justin Smith is here to help us out with that. Justin, thank you so much for being yes, here. Yes, absolutely. Um, we're getting prepared. Yeah. This is probably one of the number one things we need. Look, I saw you try it. Go, go ahead, pick it up, pick it yeah. up. Just there, it's 11 pounds. Yeah. It's the size of a gallon of milk. Now, and, and then swing it around in the palm of your hand here mm -hmm. towards the front so they can see it. And do, and, and do me a favor, here, let me just press that. Now it's on. Did we have? Did, did I pour any oil in there? No. Any gas? No. Any toxic fumes? It, does, is it making any noise? No. 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 It's no. not. That's because this is a 21st century battery-powered generator. It's giving you the equivalent amount of power to that of those big, clunky, expensive gas generators. Although, like I just said, no gas, no oil, no toxic fumes. Because who wants to go out in the middle of that blizzard or that you know 100 mile an hour wind hurricane mm -hmm. and pour gas and oil and prime an engine and have to pull crank and run your cores through open doors and open windows and all that? You can keep this inside next to your your bed and power everything from your lights to your fans to your TVs to your mini fridges to even your power tools wow. at the same time up to a hundred hours on a single charge before you even need to think about recharging the river and it's all capable at the push of a button yeah. just like that you get an immediate amount of power you take it out of the box no fancy setup no noise no gas no oil and then when you do lose that power or you're doing something recreationally like hunting camping fishing tailgating even mm -hmm. all you have to do is take your regular plug, just like you plug in anything around your house. And this is where EcoFlow is worth its weight in gold, right on the back here. Look around your house right now. Those high powered three prong outlets you have along your wall that your TVs and everything is plugged into, mm -hmm. virtually anything you can plug in around your house, you can plug into the back of the EcoFlow River. So just like this, we're gonna notice there's no trickle charge or anything like that. We got immediate power. Now my light came on, mm -hmm. and since we're down here in Florida, I brought a fan because it's very hot, but if yes. we were up north and it was a blizzard and we lost power. I could plug in a small heater. Now again, a three prong outlet right there, a three prong plong, prong plug. <laughs> I don't speak for a living, I promise. <laughs> we can plug that in the back here. Wow. And now our high powered fan came on, our light came on, and I'm not, I, I want you to notice because this is a thoughtful purchase. There are other battery powered uh, generators out there, but this is the Rolls Royce of battery powered. This is not just gonna power a light, or a fan for 30 minutes or an hour. It's gonna power this light and this fan, plus seven other devices, nine things at one time, wow. for over 100 hours. So I brought my tablet here, just like you would plug in any tablet at home in your wall or a plug. You plug this in, you see those coming on, and now I can stay connected. Now I've got fans and lights mm -hmm. for days on end. What this isn't, it's not one of these that'll only charge your phone or tablet once or twice. Yes. This is high-powered industrial amount of power equivalent to a gas generator. Wow. Yeah. And the thing is, like you said, you don't have to unplug something to plug something That's else right. in because this is made to hold it all. This is your power station. And these are the kind of things that when you don't have them, you wish you did. Uh -huh. um, but the reason we typically don't, maybe don't have them is because up until most recently, we didn't have a better option than the big, heavy outdoor generator, which even if you have one, you have to make sure nobody comes across and throws it in the back of their truck yeah. and drives away with it. That's right. This is one that stays with you. Like I said, it's about the size of a, of a toaster, of it, I mean, of a toaster. That's it. Um, this is a featured price because normally here at HSN, this is about $600. It's $599.99. We took up about $100 off, but you still get all of the power, you still get all of the benefits of having this in your, in your possession. So we're gonna go ahead and see more, because some of you might be saying, well, it's okay when the power goes out, it's only out for a short time. Uh -huh. What does that hurt, right? 
for some people, that short time can be critical. Yeah, I mean, think about it. We get power outages here during natural thunder, or just everyday thunderstorms all the time. We're yeah. at last one or, one or two hours. This is like after a natural disaster, when you lose power and it's an hour, two hours, and you're like, oh my gosh, is that power ever coming back on? Yeah, or that. if you're going like, you know, off the grid, hunting, camping. Camping and hunting uh, season is, is, I think, coming up in October, but mm -hmm. tailgating, everyday use. This will even power your computer and your Wi-Fi router so that you can still have internet in the middle of a power or, uh, mm. an, a power outage here in a second. And, and it's not just hurricanes, but but uh, you know winter storms and fires out west, mm -hmm. earthquakes, tornadoes, not to scare you or anything, but I wanna give you guys at home a little, what I, I like to call a little life hack, a little pro tip. Okay. This is a power surge protector, a little power strip. You can get these at the local depot store. I believe we even sell a, like, a little cube on hsn.com. But you see again, it's a high powered three prong. We're gonna go ahead and plug this into the back. Most of you might have your TVs at home plugged into one of these. Okay. But here's how I can go ahead and take two of those high powered three prong wall outlets and quadruple it and keep plugging stuff in. So here we go. We got our light still going, but let's go ahead and plug our fan back in. Okay. Let's say we want light in another room in the house. Okay. So now we've got Let's go ahead and turn that on here. Okay. Now we've got immediate access, our lights on. Now again, another high power three prong uh, industrial fan. Mm -hmm. Now we've got two high power fans going, two lights, mm -hmm. plus I brought my RCA tablet here. Okay. Let's go ahead and plug that yes, in. So we can keep, keep up we with got the our RCA tablet. We see yeah. that just now came on. Yeah. So I've got all of this plugged in and running from the power of no gas, no oil, no toxic fumes. Because think about it, when you guys go to that uh, depot store or wherever and you pick up that gas powered generator, it's mm -hmm. super expensive, it's super heavy, mm -hmm. and you can't keep them inside. So that poses a, a safety issue. When the middle of the storm, when the lights are out, you have to run all of these same cables through an open door through an open door, mm -hmm. through an open you know, window or anything like that. Yeah. And that poses a huge safety threat where this, you can keep it inside. You don't have to keep any doors or any windows open or anything like that. Right. And it'll hold a charge for 12 months. So like she's doing oh. right there, you just take it out of the cabinet, yeah. you put it down, you plug in your light, your fans, your TVs, whatever you need to get life going back to normal to give you that sense of security, yeah. peace of mind. Like I like to say, when the lights are on, the bad guys stay away, mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. So this is really your just being prepared. I think it's kind of the must have essential for every household mm -hmm. and you don't have to worry about that gas and oil. I mean, think about it. Just a couple years ago, you would drive down the road and look at a, a, a hybrid battery powered car and you mm -hmm. would think there's no way those things are gonna last. They're not gonna <laughs> stick around. Right. Same thing with generators. Yeah. Now our battery powered generators, our 21st, battery power, 21st century battery powered generators are more powerful, yep. more efficient yes. than our gas powered generators. And portable easier to use, yep. you don't need to think about it. The thing is you already know how to use it because you just plug it in, just like, or you just plug into it, just like you would plug in anything that you're using, you just plug in, whether it's your USB cables that you're plugging in, and you can see those right there. Um, and that's gonna be important too, when you wanna keep up with what's going on. If this is, let's say, a natural uh, disaster or an emergency, and you need to keep up with, well, where is the, the storm moving? Is it getting closer to me? You can't do that if you can't be connected. If you need to use, I love this because so so many of the things that are critical to us, like like having that fan mm -hmm. to cool down where you are, requires this kind of plug, and now you've got it. And I'm holding it, all of this power in the palm of my hands. Now, remember, this is a featured price. I know you're looking at this and saying, um, I, I, the, the only kind of times that we usually think about items like this yeah is in the middle of when we need it. Yeah. When you're sitting in a dark house <laughs> you're like, huh. for hours, you're thinking, why didn't I get that Should've when I that. saw it? Yeah. That's what we're talking about, being prepared. Being prepared isn't always fun to think about, mm -hmm. but when you have what you need, at the moment those that light goes out, you're gonna be so glad that you made the decision to get it. That's right. You know, my mother-in-law was watching this when I was, uh, I was with uh, maybe Adam or something the other night, and she called and was like, I live in a condo. I, there's no, I, I can't have one of those gas power generators. Right. I can't lug that thing up the stairs or wherever and keep that inside. So if you live in a condo or a townhome or you, you know, maybe live somewhere where, where you're in an emergency evacuation zone and you know you're gonna get evac, you can't take those gas power generators with you. So this is almost essential, but yeah. also in any regular living situation in your, in your regular house that you don't need to run those cables through an open door or an open window, deal with the toxic fumes. Because when you get those big expensive gas generators home, 
There's so many other things and expenses that come with it. Mm -hmm. You get this home, this is it for a life, your lifetime. Mm -hmm. This is it. There, there's no other, you know, fancy setup or expenses that come with it, especially if you rely on medical devices, because this will also power your medical devices, your CPAP machine, your nebulizers. Maybe uh, you're a new mom and a breast pump, or many of you at home rely on your scooter. So take this with you, put it in the front basket of your scooter, mm -hmm. so it's not frustrating when you run out of power at the grocery store anymore. One yeah. more time, one button press, industrial amount of power. We want to go ahead and just just like you would plug in anything at home, I brought a CPAP machine because I know many of you write in and you use yours mm -hmm. for your CPAP machine and your other medical devices. And the reason why I do everything live on air here, which it might nice. seem like it takes a little bit extra time is because I want you to know that I don't have anything pre-staged. This does what I say it does. Mm -hmm. And so you see our CPAP machine just came on there. And just so you can see that, you know, I can get it to actually get air to flow and I'm not fooling with you. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna hear this air come on. There oh, we yeah. go. There it is. So there's your oxygen flowing. Mm -hmm. So many of you at home write into EcoFlow and you tell us, hey, I keep my CPAP plugged into my EcoFlow and my EcoFlow plugged into the wall, mm -hmm. even if I do have power, so that in the rare instance that I might lose power during a rolling blackout in the middle of the night, yeah. my CPAP machine is still plugged into the EcoFlow, supplying it with power, giving me that oxygen when I sleep because Maybe I won't know if, you know, if I run out of power in the middle of the night, if I'm, if I'm dead asleep. Right. But now your CPAP machine will continue to operate and all those medical devices as well. So let me just remind you, you can get it. I love that it's even attractive to have. You can get it in gold, silver, black, or in rose gold. Let me ask you a couple questions, Justin, because yeah. um, I want it. How, <laughs> remind me again, how long is the charge going to last, even if I don't even if I don't use it. Yeah, so if it, if you, even if you don't use it and you just use it for emergency instances, yeah. put it away on the shelf, okay. that full charge will last a uh, full year, 12 months. 12 months, okay, 12 months. so let's say I do plug things into it, uh -huh. and I know I guess it depends on what I'm plugged into. Absolutely. How long is it gonna last, how long is the power inside gonna last? when I actually am using it. Right, so with this light and these fans, it'll last 100 hours, wow. that's four days. Oh FEMA gosh. recommends that we have three days of provisions, food and water and stuff like that on our hand immediately following a natural disaster. Mm. This is gonna keep you, your you, you know, lights and fans going for four days, so even beyond the FEMA recommendation. But again, you can, this thing has what we call pass-through charging, mm -hmm. so you don't have to unplug one thing to plug in another, and even better, you don't have to unplug your devices from this to recharge your river other lesser equipped battery power generators do your research mm -hmm. require you to unplug all of your devices while you recharge the river has a safety op mechanism in the battery that allows you to keep all of your devices plugged in all nine devices or more if you get that power strip while you recharge the river to 100 percent so you know in theory you're never running out of power it's called ups an uninterrupted power source and there's three ways to recharge this okay and we're going to give you two of them okay one of them, just like you would plug in anything into the wall, right here, we're gonna give you this, you plug this into the wall, and then this end, right there, that goes into the EcoFlow River, into the USB-C port, okay. which is right down front here, which I'll get to in a second. Okay. And then we're gonna give you another one, Yes, you can actually plug this into wow. your car. So that's just a standard cigarette lighter. You plug that into your car and you plug the other end into the EcoFlow and then it will recharge in the wall at home in about four hours. It'll recharge in your car in less than six hours. And probably the most exciting way to keep power going into your EcoFlow is this. This is probably my favorite thing right here because you can go completely off the grid. Now you're asking, you're kind of looking at this like, what is that? This is a solar panel. So even under partly cloudy conditions, you lay this out on the ground, in the field, on top of your car, in the back of your truck, or on your RV or your boat or wherever you're at, you plug that wire that you see at the top of my thumb here into your EcoFlow River, and then you can create your own self-sustaining power, go off the grid, so when your buddies are running out of gas in their high-powered gas generators and they're losing power to all of their devices, you can still create power and keep all of your devices plugged in because you are getting power from, your harnessing power from the sun, from God. God's given gift and you this is a one-time purchase you don't have to keep buying gas buying oil or that's anything good. like that that's you know really good Tamara when hurricane uh, when hurricane Irma came through a couple years ago mm -hmm. 
all the gas stations around here within a 10 mile radius, they were all without gas. They were you out of gas. You couldn't get gas, yeah. but we laid this out on the driveway. Yeah. We were able to create power so we could have our phones and our lights going. Mm -hmm. Neighbors were coming to us and plugging mm -hmm. in so that they could call their loved ones and mm -hmm. say, yeah, I'm, I'm okay, we're still repairing here, but so, yeah. So everybody benefits when you make the right decision. And it, yeah, matter of fact, there is a bonus buy. So when you buy your uh, river, when you buy your EcoFlow, you can take $50 off the price of that solar panel recharger. Mm -hmm. And we have the 85 watt version. So if you want to go ahead and get both of them, I suggest do it while you, maybe it's not an emergency. Maybe everything's going great, but you're just saying, I just want to be smart and I want to be prepared. You've got free shipping here. You can get that bonus buy. So go for it, okay? Um, like we said, it doesn't necessarily have to be a natural disaster either. This could just be so that you stay connected. Um, and for if for that reason you're getting it, that's one of the reasons why we've never, my husband and I haven't gotten like a traditional generator yeah. because I said, I don't wanna spend all that money on something that's gonna sit uh -huh. for who knows how many years. And, and think we of the never, footprint it takes up. Yeah, and we might never use it. Yeah right? Um, versus something that I could use in an emergency or I could use it because we went out camping. Yeah. And, you know? and, and think about all the space that takes up. Mm -hmm. I know I used to have a gas powered generator and you keep like kitty litter underneath it because eventually <laughs> they create leaks and they're messy. Oh you can just keep this inside, put it up on the shelf somewhere and take yeah. it out and know that you are protected. Again, I want to show you some fun stuff now. Okay. So uh, maybe it's not fun. Maybe you like to watch that storm. When, when Hurricane Dorian was coming through, my mm -hmm. eyes were glued to the TV. I had to know it was peace of mind where that storm was going. Maybe you want to watch Netflix, keep the kids entertained or yourself mm -hmm. entertained post the storm. One more time, one button press, immediate access to your uh, industrial amount of power, no gas, no oil, no toxic fumes, turn it around. Mm -hmm. And all you're gonna do is go ahead and plug into the back. Again, I'm doing everything live on air here so that you see, you know, I, I'm not, you know, trying to fool with you or anything like that. Let me just get a good angle on the remote there and turn the TV on. Okay. This is a 32 inch high definition. TV. This also has a Roku media streamer That's built in, so it's even more powerful than your average 32-inch TV. So yeah. just so that you know, I'm not fooling with you and I didn't magically plug the TV in anywhere else. Yeah. I can take this TV and I can just walk away and my TV's still on. That's right. It's still on. I can walk away and you see I am tethered to nothing but my EcoFlow River. And because, not that you would ever need to plug in a power drill and a TV at the same time, but- But you never know. You never know. Maybe you wanna watch TV and do some home projects, or maybe you're a handyman mm -hmm. and you don't wanna be tethered with 15 extension cords to your neighbor's house. Yeah. Get your EcoFlow, and I'm gonna show you that mm -hmm. I can plug in my, my power drill, and same thing with like a table saw, a skill saw, mm -hmm. something like that. Maybe you need to make some repairs after the storm pushes through. Yeah. Watch the TV, the TV's gonna stay on, and the power drill, here we go. That. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I almost forgot. What? Oh gosh, what? Let, me let me plug this in because I, I wanna show you how much power this thing actually has. Okay. The noise reminded me. Okay. All right, this right here, high powered, uh, you know, it's, it's a, um, an air pressure, uh, what, what do we Oh, air compressor. Air compressor, mm -hmm. I couldn't think of that. Mm -hmm. So maybe you're out hunting, camping, fishing, you need to blow up an air mattress yeah. or a inflatable kayak mm, or something raft, like that. Yeah. Here we go, so we got, we got that going, oh, our wow. TV's going, and our drill. Oh my gosh. And there's still room to plug in more. There's still room to plug in more and the TV is still going. Yeah. Nothing's losing power. I'm not unplugging one thing to un you know plug in another. Wow. And that air compressor goes in just through your standard cigarette lighter. We also give you one of those outlets as well. So anything you could imagine to plug in, not just your two prongs, your three prongs, yeah. not just your USBs, not just your USB Cs, mm -hmm. but anything imaginable that you could plug in, you can plug into this EcoFlow River and give yourself that much needed power. Because the thing is, we don't even realize how much we depend on the power mm -hmm. until it's gone or until it's out of our hands. We just we just don't realize it. So this is a way for it to never be out of your hands. You always have your power station that you can take along with you. Like I said, I, I say it's about the size of a toaster so that you can get a feel for the size of it. Weighs about 11 pounds, so this is something that you could easily port this around. Um, and it can stay in the house safe and dry. So when you need it, you plug in and it does its job. 
That's it. It's got one job. <laughs> and this guy, I always say you got one job. Yeah. Do it right. It's got one job, and that's to power whatever you plug into it. Now, um, it is our showstopper. I want to make sure you get go ahead and have a chance to get it and our bonus buy. So when you buy your river, you can take $50 off the price of that solar charger. So if you want that as well as the river, the charger is a separate purchase, but this would be the time that you go ahead and get that bundle together. Yeah. I wanna go right on back over because we're down to just about a minute or so. Yeah, and this is probably, other than the TV, this is one of the most exciting things because a lot of people think, well, I don't have power, I don't have internet. That mm -hmm. couldn't be further from the truth because most of our internet lines, they're fiber optics, they run underneath the ground. When you lose power, what happens is you lose power to your router, most of you these from your cable company and this is what disperses the internet as Wi-Fi into your home so that all of your mobile devices your smart devices can pick up the internet so watch this again you go ahead we're gonna turn it around and we're gonna plug in our router to the back of the EcoFlow and we're gonna watch our router look, the lights come on. on we power up now we have internet now we can watch our Netflix now we can get on the computer what if you work at home and you have a mobile office that's not near where you ran out of power and your yeah. boss doesn't care right that you ran out of power. They still want that work done. That's right. You need to be able to get that work done. You just keep your route. This is how I have mine set up at home. I keep my, my router plugged into my EcoFlow, but I just plugged into my computer yeah. into that USB-C port right there. In a second here, as Tamara's wrapping, you're gonna see yeah. the computer come on and it'll plug all of this in, like I said, for 100 hours. It also gives you this nice little smart so screen great. right here. So great. A little Look smart at that. screen there that tells you how much time you have left on your battery. Yeah. Computer came on, it's, router's going, we are good to go. It's all good. Thank you so much, Jeff. Justin, Thank you, as always, keeping us prepared. Go ahead and pick yours up at 664-177. We're going to take a quick break and check in with Beekman and then come back.